you. Hi, Friends of Peace, Friends of Day Day Pause friends. It's Mr. Eric again with another lesson for you from the Bible. And as you can see in front of me, I've got some things to do a science experiment with you today. Now, I'm going to warn you that this science experiment isn't going to go perfectly, but I think it's going to go well enough for us to learn something special about Jesus today. We are going to pretend some things, okay? So I need you to pretend with me. And number one, we're going to pretend that this candle is Jesus, okay? Can you pretend with me that this candle, it represents or it's Jesus. And this coin I have here is you and me. It's people. And the plate that it's sitting on, let's pretend that that is the world, okay? I know that's a lot of pretending, but I've got one more thing that I need you to pretend. Let's pretend that this water, and by the way, I, it, I know it looks kind of weird, it's very blue, it's just water. I put some food coloring in it so that you could see it better. This water, let's pretend that this is sin. Now, right now, you look at the world, and it's very much the way that God created it to be. There's no marks of sin on it. But when people sin, it came into the world, and it surrounded people, and it made the world not what it was supposed to be. And this guy right here, you and me, were surrounded with it. Can that coin do anything to get out of the water? I don't think it can. It is surrounded with sin. Just like you and I, when we don't follow our parents' directions, or we say things that are not kind, or we don't tell the truth, those things, those things are called sin. And sometimes we feel surrounded by them. And we need God's help. And it says in God's word, in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, it says this. If we confess or tell the truth about our sin, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins. God's word tells us that when we ask God to forgive us, he will take our sins away. So the second class that I have here, this is when we pray for forgiveness. Now watch what happens. Look very closely. Do you see the cup filling up with sin? When Jesus died on the cross, he took our sin and made it his own. Now I promised you that this would not go perfectly. This took a lot of the water away, but there's still some water here. When Jesus takes our sins away, he takes all of it away. Completely. That there would be nothing left of our sin. And we will know that for sure and ultimately when we live with Jesus forever in heaven. And we get to do that because he forgives our sins. Now you pray with me and ask or let Jesus know how thankful we are for the forgiveness of sins that we have. So if you would fold your hands and repeat after me and in that way we can pray together. So Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me and dying on a cross to take away my sin. Thank you for forgiving me. Help me to forgive others and share your love. Amen. I would invite you to share this video with a friend so that your friend, too, can know how much Jesus loves him. That he takes not just most of your sin away, he takes all of our sin away. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.